You've tuned in to Through the Prism of Chrism. I'm Chris. Thanks for being with us. We're speaking on healing truths this week. And today I want to ask the question, how long should a believer live? You know, a lot of people have a lot of warped ideas on that, but I want you to set your sight or set the bar of your faith at 120 years. You know, the God of plenty said 120. Let me give you some proof of that. Psalm 91 and verse 16 says, with a long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Now, in the Guinness Book of World Records, it says that the oldest living man was a, was a, a Japanese fella, 120 years old, 237 days, worked till he was 105, drank lots of whiskey, and didn't take up smoking till he was 70. This guy attributed his long life to God, Buddha and the sun. Well, I'm sure some vitamin D out in the sun will help you out. The oldest woman was Madame Jeannie Calment of France, 122 years and 164 days. She smoked till she was 119. Her kids took her cigarettes away because she thought she, they thought she was going to burn the house down. She ate a kilo of chocolate a week. I think that's great. I like that. And she was an agnostic. Now, here's the thing. If an agnostic French woman and a Buddha a worshiping Japanese guy, both that smoked in their hundreds, could live that long of a life. I wonder how long a spirit-filled, Bible-promise-believing child of God ought to live. I think it's 120. The God of plenty said 120. Now, some people, you know, quote Psalm 90 and verse 10, and they say that that should be our standard for living. In fact, I've heard a lot of preachers preach that. It says, man's years are three score and ten, 70 years. And if by reason of strength they be four score, score, yet have they strength, labor, and sorrow. Now, four score, 80 years old, I mean, logic, history shows that's a pretty good long life. But that's not God's plan for any of us. Because Psalm 90 was written by Moses. Look at the heading. It says a prayer of Moses, the man of God. Moses in the wilderness was preaching funerals every day of his life. Why is that? Because two million Israelite unbelievers who had been barred access and entrance into the land of promise had to die before the next generation, the faith generation, could enter into the promised land. So Moses was constantly preaching funerals. In fact, the book of Numbers is a book of mumblers and grumblers and stumblers because they murmured against God and God shut that generation out. But how long did Moses live? 70 years? 80? No. Moses lived 120 years old. I'm reading Deuteronomy 34 and verse 7. He was 120 when he died. His eye was not dim, which means he didn't need bifocals at 120, listen, nor his natural force of abated. At 120 years old, Moses could do as many push-ups as he could when he was 35, or at least he thought he could. He wrote another statement in Exodus 23 and verse 26. He said, the number of thy days I will fulfill. Now, I can't fulfill my days. I don't have the power to do that. But God makes a promise. The number of your days I will fulfill. Or in other words, fully fill. Fulfilled means filled fully. And if there is a number of days for your life, God says, I'm going to fulfill every single one of them. Job 5 and verse 26, it says, you will come to the grave in a full age, like as a shock of corn comes in his season. When we farmed, dad always wanted the kernels of the ear of corn to go clear out to the end of the corn cob. He called that mature corn. God wants you matured. He wants you to live the fullness of your days. Let me give you one more verse as we close. Proverbs 3 and verse 2 says, if you'll obey the commandments of God and walk in his word, that length of days and a long life shall they add to you. Do you realize that God can add to your days? He can give you an extension of years. If there is a time when man's number is up, as they say, well, God can extend that number. Live in the word of God. He can add to your years. And then he said, add to thy days. Now, what's that mean? There's 24 hours in a day. How can he add to thy days? Well, he can make a day stretch. He can put more life into your years and more years into your life. I'm Chris. Hope you've enjoyed this message. Hey, we need to hear from you with a comment. Like if you like, and be sure to share these messages with others because there's a lot of people out there that need healing truth. We'll see you tomorrow.